Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to magician, um, amateur versus professional magician. Make sure all the cards are around the right way. Now this is a impromptu trick, so it can be a borrowed deck if it needs to be. It doesn't even need to be a full deck. So give them a shuffle. And I'll run through what we need to do. It's not too difficult. Um, spectator's got a free choice to pick any card. This is the amateur's card. Show this card, and all you're going to do is control this card back to the top of the deck, however you like. That was just a simple double undercut. You can make it a little bit more fancy if you want, but however you need to do it, get the chosen card to the top of the deck. The second card which is chosen, which is the way the professional does it, he'll riffle down the sides, um, spectator will call out stop, and you're just going to show them the card they stop on. Oh, is that Gaffer's favourite card, the Jack of Spades? When you close this back up, you're just going to keep a pinky break on the back. So you've got a break where this card is. You'll then go back to the amateur and say, look, the way the amateur reveals the cards is different to the professional. The amateur might give them a cut. So all you're going to do is lift up at your break where this card is, swing cut the top portion, grab this middle portion, and then drop everything down. One card is on the bottom and the other card is still on the top. So when you've controlled this card to the top, you're going to riffle down, call it stop for me. Remember this card. When you close it all up, you'll keep your break. You'll then say the, the amateur might give the cards a cut. So all you're doing, sorry, um, you're going to riffle down, call it stop, show the seven of spades, keep a break. You're just going to lift up at the break split the top packet into two and take this middle portion and then drop everything down. That will control the one card to the bottom and the other card to the top. Um, you can give these a bit of a fake cut now if you want and a fake cut and a shuffle if you want to just to make it look like the cards are getting mixed up. I mean you could even do a shuffle if you want not disturbing the bottom card or disturbing the top card. And now you're going to say that the way the amateur reveals the card is different to the professional. The amateur might just give the cards, so I give them one more cut, quickly catch a pinky break on the bottom card, swing cut and show, look, I've cut the first card to the top. As you're turning this card back over, you're going to deposit the bottom card. So there's the first card. Throw that card onto the table. They think that is the eight. The eight is still here. This is the second card. Place this packet on the bottom, quickly grab a little thumb break and over, under that top card and say, look, the way the professional does it, you won't bother giving the cards any cuts like this. All you'll do is spread the cards on the table and there will be one card face up or face down. And it's the first card, but what? Right, let's run through it. A Amateur will get you to pick a card. Five of spades. Control that five to the top of the deck, however you like. The professional will get you just to see a card. So just call it stop. Remember this card. Three of hearts. Keep that break, remember. Right, the way the amateur reveals the cards is different. You might give the cards a cut. So you've controlled the one to the bottom. The other card to the top. You'll give it some cuts like this. And you'll cut that card to the top. Quickly grab your thumb break, swing cut the top portion and show the first card, the five of spades. You're going to deposit your three as you turn this over, place this on the table. This portion goes on the bottom. You'll quickly lift up on the top card, grab a break, and then you'll do the browy reversal, which is just grab a few cards, flip them over, grab a few more, flip them over, and then just give the cards a cut. Now the professional won't do any cuts like that. You'll just Spread the cards on the table. And there's one card. What? Five of spades. Well, I did say there was a difference between the way they produce the cards because the professional will just turn the first card into the second one. So there you go, guys. I hope that's helpful to you. Just try it. It's a pretty cool trick. Remember this card. It goes in there. Control it to the top. And professional just say, look, remember this card for me.
The way they reveal the cards is different as well. The, the amateur might give the cards a cut and say, look, I've cut the one card to the top. The way the professional reveals the cards, he doesn't bother giving any of these fancy cuts like this. He'll just spread the deck and there will now be one card face down and it's your... What? Eight of spades? But I thought this was the eight of spades. That's the kicker. So let me know what you think, guys. Try it out on your friends, your family, whatever, and uh, just let me know. So make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the Gaff Academy, post notifications on, and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.